In this video, I'm going to take you through how to create our Windows RDP server on Microsoft Azure. So Microsoft Azure by far, I think it is the best, uh, the best service you can use if you want Windows servers. Since they are, it is a Microsoft platform, the servers are, you can get multiple server images for free. So here I have $200 of free credit and I got this account as a free trial account for one month and this credit will be valid for a month if you want to know how to you can create such an account check the link in the description I already made a video about that so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see clearly now I'm in the Azure home page so I want to create a virtual machine you can either click on create a resource or you can directly click on virtual machines so I'm going to use this way create a resource then virtual machine create that's one way then another way is to bring your cursor here and click on create a virtual machine then click create or oh, you can just bring your cursor on top of this then click on create then azure virtual machine so I click on that wait a little bit this page usually takes Sometimes I don't know why, but I just click on it and I'm waiting. See, it's loading now. So now, to create a virtual machine on Microsoft Azure, you need a subscription, and I have a subscription here. If you have multiple subscriptions, you can just switch to a different subscription from here. So the subscription I'm using is the free trial so we need to create a resource group because we don't have any resource group yet so create new then give this resource group a name we can just call it rdp servers and i see so group names cannot have spaces so remove the space this is now checking if to see if there is any other resource group in my account with this same name now i click ok so now i'm going to give it a name and this RDP server, I want to call it um, RDP server one. Maybe just call it server one. And as usual, no spaces. I choose a region from this. I want this one to be in East US. Then you can just leave these ones as to the default. Then the next important thing is the image, which will be Windows, I want to use Windows Server. You can use any of these Ubuntu Server, Red Hat Enterprise, Debian, Windows Server, Data Center. So I'm going to use Windows Server 2022. Yeah, this one. There are other options Windows 11 Pro, Windows 10 Pro. If you want to see more options, just click on See All Images. Now uh, I choose Windows Server 2022 Data Center Edition. Then PM Architecture, leave it to 64 bit. And then I choose the size. So I click on this drop down and I see these other sizes are not available in that region for my account. What you can do is to either change the image or change the region but i don't want to do that so what i do i check to see if i have other available options so i click here and then click on see all sizes and here i am and i see there is no there's no really other size that fits me in this region so i'm going to change the region let me put it in uk UK South and then see 
okay in this region i can get some sizes of the vm available and i would like to use this one maybe let me click on zero sizes and see if i can pick the best available so by ram i just want a 16 gb server which means i have this option and the other one i'm going to collapse this notifications panel so that i can see more details so this one costs this is a lot it's more than the available credit on my account and this one's not really see this one this one not really okay it seems i just have to maybe take an 8 gb ram server yeah to do what i want so let me just kick back here and then i will take this one then i don't want to use ssh public key the authentication type i want to use a password it means i will use a username then a password i have a password with a few here because i saved this uh, which i use for my account so i will just use it make sure the password matches the requirements as they will be shown so public inbound ports allow selected ports and we need to uh, allow the rdp port Oh, sorry, the image changed this. Oh, I forgot to change the image here. That's why we are not seeing RDP. So let's set Windows Data Center. Then I'm going to go with this one. Then now you see, we can see the RDP port. Make sure it is allowed. So and then click review plus create now see so you have set rdp ports open to the internet and that is okay that's what we want so now we click on create this will take some time i think up to two to five minutes it should be done so the notifications you'll see initializing deployment and we'll be able to see whichever step this vm has reached at deployment is now complete now we need to go to go to resource Now what we need is our public IP address. Copy this and now we are going to connect to our RDP server using Microsoft Remote Desktop. So I close this, go to my search bar and I'm going to search for Remote Desktop Connection. This app will pop up, it should be pre-installed pre if you have Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro. If not, go ahead and install it by yourself. So now here on computer, we need to put our, let me go to show options so that we can start. Then enter the IP address, then enter the username. Then click on connect. Now we need to enter the password for this RDP server. Hope that is the password, okay. Okay, once you type in the correct password, get to this and I don't want to, I want to accept this and I don't want this to pop up again when I am connecting to this server and click on yes. Now it is preparing. I 
and here we are in our server so on the top here you'll be able to see this panel you can even minimize the window then you can continue and now set up your server however you want to use it and then continue doing your work so that is it for this video if, if this video was helpful i want to know that you liked it so just click on that like button and if you are new to my channel a subscription would be so much appreciated